Sports. Hello, welcome back to the channel. Um, this is part two to the video of um, tearing down the top end of the uh, Prettier RS125. Um, if you watch my first video, you'll see that like I was getting low compression, and also I was getting um, uh, rattly noise on the top end. I thought I'd just go through a few things, what I found. Um, so the first thing I checked was the piston ring gap, which um, I'm going to refer to the book because it's a bit hard to remember everything. But it says there, piston ring end gap. Um, the service limit is 0 0.8 and the ring gap when they're new installed should be between 0 0.05 to 0 0.2. So I'll put the, put the piston ring in, um, I've already checked this, um, and I think it was 0 .0 0.2, um, so there's 0 0.2, so if you check the gap, yeah, so that's 0 0.2, so piston ring was fine but what I did find out is it's got a what's it called now Ital kit piston and it's got on there 53.955 which is um, that's the size of the piston well the barrel has got a B on it so when you refer to the book when it says cylinder bore and it says code B, the standard should be 54.015 to 54.025. Well, that's when it's brand new. And I know this has been recoated. This has had a new Nicosol um, coating. So it doesn't, this is how I found out. So if I, if I measure the piston, um, you come up about 11 mil from the skirt. That's where you measure it from, and you measure it on the ac the opposite axis to where the uh, the pin goes. So if I measure that there, so it's coming up with. Slightly then, but one second. So if I get that, lock that off. See, so it's coming with fifty three. If you can pick up on that, 53.96. So that is that is intolerance of what it's saying on the piston. So apparently, if this barrel was 54.015, there should be just quickly where it's at. There should be 0 0.7 mils of um, piston to bore like gap. And the way you measure that is put your piston in. And you always do it on the skirt. So you bring it to the top like that and get your field gauge. Um, and I can tell you now that it's not. If I get the smallest one that's on here, that's 0.04. So if I bring that to the top and then try and put a 0.04 between the piston and the bore, it won't go in. I mean, I could force it in, but that's like super tight now, that is. So 
So what my thinking is, um, this piston is too big for this barrel. I haven't got like a telescopic um, gauge at the moment to to measure the ball, but I have got one coming. So all I can think, the reason why, it's, I don't know why the compression was still low because in theory that should have made the compression higher because it would have been sealing like really tight. But one thing I did notice, and if you look at the piston as well, there's a bit, quite a bit of scoring on the skirts, considering it's only done about 300 miles. So what my thinking is, is that this piston is too tight. The clearances, I mean, it says in the book, piston to bore service limit is 0.08 millimeters. But I'm getting nowhere near that, so, um, you know, I presume it's too tight. Um, so yeah, in the future, I mean, I've got that, I've got a um, Yutaka piston and a um, barrel coming. So I'll be putting that on anyway. Um, well, that's another thing, parcel force, Express 24, uh, fair play to PJME. Um, I ordered it on Thursday, they put it through Express 24 hours, so I should have got it Friday, which was yesterday. Um, really give me a chance to do it over the weekend, ready for work Monday. Of course, Parcel Force decided to say that they attempted delivery and then um, took it back to the depot, which they didn't, because I waited in all day. I've got cameras, nobody came. They're just lawyers. So anyway, but in the future, I think I'll get this ball measured and I think that I'll find, if I put a smaller piston, maybe a, a 53.950, you'll have enough clearance then. Um, that's the only thing I think. I would say with the low compression, I have no idea. I mean, this, this gasket here looks a bit, all the other gaskets look new, but this one, it looks a bit weathered. Whether that's been squashed too much and then uh, it was leaking. Because there is a bit of like, a bit of darkness at the front. And when I took this off, there was, there was a bit of, there was a bit of black on the front bit there. And it looked like it might be trying to suck in. That's the only thing I can think really. But anyway, it's just a quick update this video was. Um, and that's the kind of the things that I've found at the moment. Um, so yeah, I don't know if they do do a 53.95. Um, I mean, I might go for a forged piston. And apparently if you get a forged piston, I think you've got to give it, is it 0 0.07 clearance? So that's what it is. I need to find out what the size of this bore is. Um, as soon as them um, telescopic gauges come, I can do that and then I'll get a new piston, because inside there it looks fine. Yeah, it looks fine in there. So yeah, I don't, I don't think this cylinder is scrap. I think it should be fine. I mean, I wouldn't scrap it anyway, but um, yeah, so that's the feedback. You know I mean? And then um, as soon as the um, Mitaka kit comes, um, I'll put part three up and then hopefully the compression goes back up and we have the right um, clearances in the barrel. Anyway, thanks for watching, until next time.